Now the latest on a partial building collapse that destroyed a car in downtown Chattanooga almost two weeks ago. Well, today we learned the city suggested property owners tear down the building after the collapse happened. And Liam Collins has been reporting on this and has an update for us. Property owners tell me they were already in the process of a partial building demolition when that wall collapsed earlier this month, but information we received through public records requests show the city stepped in after that collapse and told them the whole building has to go. The building adjacent to me just collapsed. Uh, it crushed a car. Frantically calling 911 just moments after this partial building collapse earlier this month, the husband of the woman who was in this practically untouched blue BMW SUV told 911 operators the winds were too strong for him to go outside. My vehicle was totally crushed. Uh, there's damage done to my, my wife's vehicle, but she was able to escape when she saw it coming down. No one was injured, but the man who called 911 says his wife is still shaken up. This white sedan is totaled and taken away just hours later. It's a building that was under uh, restoration, but it just collapsed. <laughs> The building is now torn down. Property owners tell Local 3 News they plan to finish the demolition process by the end of this week. Public records obtained by Local 3 News show the building owners already had partial demolition permits approved before the collapse. Building permits from March and October of 2021 were approved to renovate the second and third floor of the property for office spaces and to make repairs to the foundation. Another selective permit approved in June of that year would have preserved the integrity of the building. But after the collapse, city officials told property owners to tear down the whole building. A second demolition permit was submitted that night, about seven hours after the collapse, this time with plans to condemn the entire building, which is the future home of a Hyatt Regency hotel. Property owners say they plan to finish this demolition process by the end of this week and plan to break ground on that new hotel by the spring. Reporting from West Main Street, Liam Collins, Local 3 News.